Hi, welcome again um, to the second part of uh, CronTab and um, maintenance scripts. You probably remembered in the last um, tutorial that I uh, went through basically how to set up uh, CronTabs, etc., and what they what they're for. Um, if you missed that tutorial, please go back and, and watch that, um, which because it will help you in this one, uh, part two, for you to better understand what I'm trying to. Uh, trying to convey. So um, let's go right ahead. Uh, basically the scenario that we're going to be using here um, we want we know that CronTab uh, gives us a facility to automate things um, on a schedule basis because that's what CronTab's for is to automate uh, schedule based maybe scripts for example or tasks um, and CrowdTab is very, very flexible for uh, for that reason. So, uh, what we want, what we want to do here is we want to create. Um, I want to create some folders, uh, which I'll name appropriately, which you'll see um, as we go on. And I want to execute um, a set of scripts and uh, continuous and hourly, a weekly and sorry, a continuous an hourly, a daily and a weekly. Uh, they're going to be predefined scripts and they will run on their own uh, with the uh, the definitions in the cron tab made uh, appropriately. So let's go right ahead and get into this. Just so you're aware, I've actually um, copied and pasted my scripts into a text file just to make this tutorial a lot a little bit quicker and obviously seamless so first of all what we need to do is where we're going to store the folders that we want to um, place our tasks or scripts for example so let's just uh, <coughs> now refresh that so I'm going to go to CD uh, USR uh, local airspin by default this folder is empty by the way yes bin um, as you can see there's nothing in it um, and this is usually a good place to place uh, things that you want to you know things that are not connected to the system for example like a etc folder and stuff like that um, so we're going to firstly create our folders um, I've got those copied here and let me just uh, copy and paste these I'm in a VM by the way so uh, things might be a little bit slower than normal than they would be on a a fully running desktop okay yeah it didn't like that it didn't like it because I didn't put any commands before it sudo make directory and then uh, we just put that in there and it's done. Okay, so what I've done here, um, instead of writing sudo make directory for continuous.active, continuous.inactive, etc., line by line, I've just encapsulated them in these uh, parentheses um, to create them all at once. So if I go to ls and list, there you are, I have the folders. So as you can see, we have um, four folders. Um, we've got the continuous daily, sorry, continuous daily, hourly, weekly. That's only because it's um, alphabetical, because obviously hourly would be before daily as normal. So um, these are the folders we're going to be using. So effective, what we're going to do, we're going to create the scripts now. Um, they are in Bash script format, um, and then once I've created the script, I will explain its function for you. So again. Um, Let's just uh, copy and paste this very quickly. Okay, so we want to cre create the script first. Uh, the first script we're going to do, we'll call it continuous, okay? So it's a pseudo nano, nano, oops, continuous. <coughs> dot sh dot sh oops continuous uh, dot sh because we want to execute it by the way so continuous dot sh hit enter 
I'm going to control shift V uh, this into the folder for just for speed basically uh, that's a, just a little uh, section there just to see if who's running the script if it's root or if it needs to be sudo um, I run with ex uh, elevated permissions the active scripts folder is USR local spin continuous dot active so that's where it's looking for the script and um, this is just uh, the scan what it's going to scan the folder and it's a max step of one um, and then execute so that's where the minus X is by the way execute so what we want it to do um, this script is saying okay um, I want you to look in the continuous dot active folder and find me anything that I can execute um, any it could be anything it could be an application it could be a, a bash script it could be anything but it has to be executable okay so that's what it's looking for um, so let's uh, control X and Y on that to save it uh, as you can see we've got continue continuous dot sh as it is on its own we can't run that okay I'll just show you that now nothing it won't work because it's not executable um, in this environment the way I've got the color set up it would be green so let's do that and make it executable and all we're going to do with that is um, we're going to use a simple chmod uh, command I won't go into chmod at the moment because uh, that's going to be for a, um, a later tutorial so it's plus x chmod plus x and then the name of the file which is .sh continuous.sh so if we go ls now it's green okay so that's our first script to ls that again list again um, that's the first script and that's the script that the um, the cron job will be looking for that we're going to set up next okay so let's go ahead now and set up our first um, cron cron job so sudo cron tab minus e as you remember this was in the last tutorial um, let's just expand this box a little slightly I don't know why I call it a box it's a, <laughs> it's a window but false of habit I think okay so um, as I said last time I've got these already pasted in because I uh, kind of wanted to speed things up a little bit okie dokie okay let's paste that in okay we got this um, we're mailing to ourselves basically uh, once it's running um, so it's uh, I don't know let's go uh, teach no let's go for hello at techspotde.com that's uh, the website by the way um, so what it's looking here um, if you remember I explained what these uh, were in the last tutorial so I won't go into those at the moment but essentially what we're asking this to do every five minutes we want this to look for this script or rather look for this file continuous or run this file continuous.sh um, it's going to run continuous.sh and then continuous.sh is going to run and say okay you want me to find a file that's ex executable in the folder continuous.active because that's our active scripts folder okay um, the same for these hourly daily and weekly the hourly is um, five minutes past on the hour every hour of course every day every month uh, week of the day every month of the year and all that um, and this one is running at 20 minutes past one at daily and in the morning by the way because it's a 24 hour clock remember and this one is running at 30 minutes past two in the morning as well 
uh, on a Sunday though only because it's a weekly okay because it's not every day so this um, control X that as well Y and save so that's cool it's all done um, so just to recap we have continuous here oops we have continuous here as you can see um, and that stays outside these folders the scripts that you want it to run go inside the continue the dot active folders if you no longer want them you place them in the inactive folders okay so let's go ahead and test this out shall we uh, it's a very another very simple little script I'll just uh, expand this very quickly okay trouble with this VM it's uh, can be uh, temperamental sometimes okay so so let's go sudo nano oops nano test dot sh obviously you can name it what you wish um, it's just this is just a simple t um, script that just shows me it's just going to print basically the contents of this line and this line into the email that it sends out okay just to prove that it's actually working essentially um, just before I do that I just want to um, open Firefox okay And I'm going to log into the web browser very quickly. Okay, let's just log into my webmail for um, the website. Um, and this is basically to just demonstrate that the script is working. Okay, so let's go to the script and put in your email address at the end. You can pretty much add this to um, any anything that you uh, create in the future it's just a simple mail function it's nothing uh, it's not rocket science um, so it's uh, hello at text spot oops spot d dot com just make sure that's right yep control x y and save ls remember we need to make this executable as well just sudo sudo um, chmod plus x again test.sh ok hit enter the ls then we've got test.sh uh, in green again as you can see so um, what we want to do I'm not going to chuck that into the uh, folder um, just yet um, I want to test that that script is actually working um, so let's go sudo dot and then test Okay, it's not produced any error of result, any any errors. So it would be fair to assume that hopefully that's working. Um, so let's go to our mailbox here. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to come. Here we go. It's come through straight away. And there you go. Continuous test. Uh, the test of continuous scripts. Um, it's come from my uh, server. There you go. So that's it, basically. Um, so the the final step would be then is to chuck the test.sh or whatever you've called it into the continuous.active or whatever folder you you choose, uh, basically. So it could be hourly, daily, or weekly. But we'll chuck this into we'll chuck this into our daily just for the uh, purposes of demonstration. So it's sudo move um, test sh into daily dot active hit enter and, and if we list the daily dot active folder as you can see there we have test dot sh which is there um, so that's it um, the code that I've used and the script code that I've used will be in the uh, the notes um, on the website which is textbotde.com um, please uh, feel free to visit there or make comments on that website. 
and if you have any questions or comments please leave them uh, here on my channel and obviously I would appreciate if you subscribe as well and thank you for watching